221 is on the stability of charges, and it's secretly an aromaticity question. And so this is stuff you learned about for the first exam. Now, one thing I will say is if, you, if they ever give you a question of rank these structures of, in order of increasing stability, and you see rings, it's probably a secret question about aromaticity. So let's start with structure one. Well, I see a ring. It is fully conjugated because every member of the ring has either a double bond or a charge. And now, how many pi electrons does it have? It has two, four, six, and the positive charge doesn't do anything aside from keeping it conjugated. So this has six pi electrons. That means this thing right here is an aromatic ring. And aromatic rings are super duper stable. So one by far is the most stable. Now comparing two to three, now it's not so much a matter of aromaticity because these carbons are not conjugated with the rest of the pi system. You only have a double bond and a positive, not double bonds and positives throughout. So both of these structures are non-aromatic because they are not fully conjugated. So non-aromatic for both of these. And this is different from anti-aromatic, which I'll mention in a second, although it doesn't really apply to this question. So if I look at two, this double bond is in resonance with the positive charge, but this one over here, that double bond's too far away. This arrow can't ever happen, because if I tried to move that there, there are two hydrogens over here, which wouldn't allow any room for it. So three has no resonance, two has resonance, and resonance makes things more stable. So two is definitely more stable than three. Now the reason I'm bringing, I mentioned anti-aromatic is because I want to make sure you know the difference. If aromatic is the most stable, anti-aromatic is the least stable, even less stable than something that's non-aromatic. So let's change this question slightly. We already said the answer is this, which would be choice E on your answer key in order of increasing stability. But what if these were negative charges? What if this was a negative charge here, and this was a negative charge here, and this was a negative charge here? Well, now we're going to do the same thing. And Again, it's still a question about aromaticity, just slightly different. Now I have a negative charge, and I see, well, it's fully conjugated. Every carbon has a double bond or a charge or a lone pair. And so it's fully conjugated. It's a ring. And now I have to do my pi electron counting. And if I count my pi electrons, two, four, six, and then a negative charge or a lone pair is also worth two. So I have eight pi electrons. Eight is a multiple of four. And if you have a multiple of four pi electrons, you are anti-aromatic. And anti-aromatics, like I was saying before, are the least stable structure. On the other hand, these are still non-aromatic structures, so they're somewhere in the middle between aromatic and anti-aromatic. They're neither the best nor the worst. So the ruling we said for these two is still true. Two has resonance, that negative charge can resonate towards that double bond. But this negative charge has nowhere to go. So three is still the least stable, and or sorry, between two and three, three is still less stable than two, but now one is the least stable of the bunch because it is anti-aromatic. Okay, so that's the other way to look at this question where you're comparing negative charges. So it's always a matter of making sure you know if a ring is aromatic or anti-aromatic.